Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on uh, The Witcher 3, and we are going to be heading out to get the unicorn horn and the golden fish from the pond. Of the vintage. So let's get to, to it. Need to meet. I hope there's like um some more choice based things like um like it it'll end with you know kind of with a little bit of a story I guess is what I'm trying to say like there'll be a little bit of an ending little tale to this DLC is what I'm hoping you know kind of like the real game like I'll let this talk and then I'll continue what I was saying. Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey folks, gonna have to ruin your fun, sorry. Who's that? I've got this. Where's Axie? Not Come you, on, little shit. Calm. There we go. Shh. Calm down. Easy now. Flew from the horn of a unicorn. Well, that's hardly fair. Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. Hands off, a man's life is at stake. A bold-faced lie. Let's show the scoundrel the true meaning of valor. All right, I'll kick their ass. <laughs> Oh, you guys want to sit and fucking turtle, you little shit? We shall teach you I can't even get out of it. They're fucking gangbanging me in that corner. Come here, you stupid motherfucker. Come here, punt. Are you, like, are you guys this big of pansies? Like... He's a cheat, a cat. You shall regret your dishonesty, not. He's a cheat, a cat. Oh, you little shit. You there we go. Okay, one down. The man need okay, why am I? What am I stuck on? We shall teach you manners. Will you teach me some manners? Ah, oh, how'd that work out for you? Halt. Vagrant, I demand satisfaction. Fuck off. No time. Gardens are huge. Be better off on the horseback. Unworthy. Entirely inappropriate behavior. Well, it says I'm not allowed to do that, so... I have to run on foot. Okay, I can't just jump off of that. Holy shit, how did I not take any damage? That's the type of jump that, like, got me killed through all my playthroughs. Golden fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. Alright, let's go. What the blazes? Did someone just dive in the water? Perhaps that is that not counter to the rules? Uh, let's see here. Toffee. Candy. Okay, here's another one. Hopefully it's in one of these two. More candy. 
There we go. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. So now I gotta kick this guy's ass and take the fish. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithi cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. All right, let's go. Why, you bomb botched wretch? He's ruined the game. Disgraceful. I can't. Can you not go? This is an outrage. All right, let's go meet the Duchess. Uh, but back to what I was saying. I hope this thing has like an end little cutscene thing where choices you. I hope there are more choices. Like I can choose to do this or do that. So far, the Duchess the Duchess seems single. It'd be pretty awesome if you could end up with the Duchess. Or anything like that. Like, I don't really know what exactly I want to happen, but I want something with choices. I want, I want to choose. I want to feel like I have an impact on the game other than just playing it. I want to feel like my choices mattered. Which the first day I'll see did not do a great job of doing. They say a great deal about you. But that's just me. Maybe maybe I'm just asking for too much, but I thought that would be cool if we could get that again. Something to kind of end it off. And then maybe, you know, like a topper. Something to end the whole game off. Because this is it, kind of. Well, it is it. What am I saying? It is it. Or supposedly supposed it's to be please, it. Your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Uh oh, here we go. I get to make. Got no idea where Milton's hiding. Someplace. Cr okay. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease. Then end like a mouse with a head of cheese. Uh, it could be a cave or. I don't think it's a greenhouse. Someplace. I don't. It's a cave or a palace. Um, let's go with K. I don't know. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease. Then end like a mouse with a head of heart. I'm gonna go with cave. Groans, hollows. Could be a cave, I guess. Now that's just silly. Look, if we take groan, hollow it out, and fill it with ease. The letters, that is. We get green. Then mouse. But starting with what heads heart cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm, pretty clever. And it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is, then. Let's go. How the hell was I supposed to know that was greenhouse? I think the point is that you don't know, but... How on... Am I just stupid? Wait here. She probably won't wait there. Yo, we're never catching this dude. 
Good thing I don't have to manually catch him because what was that? he'd be gone. He is gone. What the hell? I'm happy I don't have to do all this shit because we would have lost him a year ago. Is this really happening? Please don't. I swear, if this is... If I kill this thing right here and that's the end of the DLC, I'm jumping off a cliff. I'm here. This belong to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left, but... You'll not get the chance. Please don't tell me this dude's like level 40. Get my shit packed I in. I won't let you kill again. Oh god! Oh my god! I know this is semi-fair, I guess. And then the definition of fair! I can't trade with them, I can't trade with them. That's never gonna happen. Ah, oh, I almost got him on the rebound. Oh, you sh little shit. I'm trapped in the corner! Trapped in the corner! Trapped in the corner! I did not want to drink another Tawny Owl, I wanted my... wanted this. Bitch! Come here. Oh, my armor is about to break. I hit the wrong button! Alright. Give me one second, beast, as I fix my armor. Let's see here, what do we got? No, I don't need to know about dyes. Yeah, I get that I can change the color. Ah, that's what I would assume a dye would do. Let's fix it again. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Oh, you little shit. No healing, you little SLB. to stay where you were. 
Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. What the f- Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... We... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Detlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Everyone's got their reasons, but he's crossed a line. Want him to stop, don't give a damn why he's doing it. Perhaps you should. Motivations change the contours of all situations. A thief who steals to feed his family versus one who steals out of greed. Would you not treat them differently? You mean to suggest Detlaf's killing out of some worthy, dire need? I merely suggest he's not a bloodthirsty monster who murders simply for the joy of it. That's just not him. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Awfully good of him, but do I need to know this? Yes, so you'll understand Detlaf is no cold-blooded killer. I believe he's landed in some mess and he sees no way out. What makes you say that? Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. 
It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say but intend to find out. Gotta find him, before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Alright, quest completed, Blood Run. La Kajafu is our new quest. Character entry. I guess we can, we'll read that character entry. Uh, character entry about Regis. I'm assuming he's either from the books or he's from the first game. Because I played the second, I haven't played the first, and... I haven't done much reading of the books, though I really want to eventually here. Any other items in here? Alright, so we need to go meet him at the cemetery. But also, also, before we go, which I'll go at the start of the next episode, we need to go to my house. Where is my house? Um... None of this. It's Corv Corvo Blanco's my house, right? Yeah, Geralt's house. A real estate granted to the Witcher by the Duchess. You can catch some rest and relaxation here between contracts. We'll go check that out. Let's read the uh, character entries for the new people that we found. Um, I guess I'll read the character entries for the important people. Like, I'll read the Duchess here, and there are some others that I'll read, but I'm not going to read every single character entry we find. Uh, we'll just go ahead and read the important ones. If this world has ever known a ruler who enjoyed the absolute admiration of her subjects without the need of systematic repression or a particular cruel hangman, it was, without a doubt, the, th the Sovereign of Tucson, Duchess Anna Henrietta, called Anna Rietta by those who knew her well. She was the widow of the late lamented Duke Raymond and one-time lover of a very famous and talented artist who would prefer to remain anonymous. A few, a few years ago, when the Witcher and a, brand, a band of friends were visiting Tucson, Anna Henrietta had, had had the pleasure of meeting Geralt of Rivia. When a mysterious beast began attacking her courtiers, the Duchess thus knew exactly whom to summon. While searching for the beast, the Duchess proved that when the need arose, she was able to throw off the chains of convention and get her hands dirty with direct action alongside the Witcher, even if she had to do so in a state of relative disabil disability. I don't know what that word is. Disab disabile? I don't know what the word is. Um. Okay, so now we need to find 
people related to Damien is her brother. I'll leave that up there if you want to read that real quick. Um, here we go. Regis. Okay, this is some reading. Geralt chased Sir Milton's murder murderer with mad intensity. How this chase ended stands as clear witness to the fact Geralt was facing a highly dangerous foe. The killer led Geralt to an old warehouse where it set up a tra set a trap for him. A fight ensued that I won, and at a crucial moment, Geralt was saved by Regis, a higher vampire and old friend. Actually, I don't think I was saved. Um, I could have killed him. Um, but uh, here I must explain that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to find out about uh, Regis here. Uh, Regis had joined Geralt's band of fellow, of fellow travelers, of which I was a proud uh, proud part, which I was a proud part, it should be of, proud part of, because this is, this is through the, it's as if Dandelion's writing all these, if I'm correct, and set off with us in search of Siri. Together we lived through many fascinating adventures, and Regis proved himself a loyal friend, the kind you trust with your life. Sadly, the expedition ended tragically for Regis. He was killed by Viggle, Viggleforts? who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. Hence the Witcher's immense surprise at encountering his old friend after all. He had seen uh, he had seen Regis die with his own eyes, but the thing is, that was not Regis. Regis's final death, nor even his first. As a young man, Regis had been a bit of a free spirit and overindulged in the drinking of blood. The lifestyle led him to being butchered by angry villagers. Regenerating from that took him 50 years, or nearly no time at all. For an immortal. When he was back in full health, he kicked the habit of blood drinking for good. For years, we'd all thought he was gone forever. Yet there was standing in there he was standing in front of Geralt in that dockside warehouse. Regis explained he had regenerated and come to Dusan to find Detloff a friend. Such were the dramatic circumstances bringing Regis and Geralt together again in Beauclair. They did not have long to enjoy their reunion, however. They could hear others approaching, and Regis, not wanting to risk an encounter with angry humans, agreed to meet back up with Geralt at the cemetery, where he had made an altogether comfortable temporary home for himself. Alright, so now, where is the other guy that I now forget his name? Oh, Detloff was his name. Okay, so we're looking for Detloff. I'm not seeing him. Where the hell is Detloff? Oh, Detloff. Hmm. Guess I need to be looking at their full names in case he's got like a long name. Ah, here we go. Detloff von der Aretin. Milton's murderer was very swift. Even with years of witchering under his belt, Geralt could barely keep up with him. Soon it became clear the killer was as clever as he was fast, by entering an old warehouse where he set a trap for Geralt. In this way, Geralt had his first face-to-face -face encounter with the Beast of Beauclair, and discovered it was a higher vampire named Detloff. A fight immediately ensued which might have ended very badly for the Witcher. I would have won the fight. Had he not been saved in the nick of time, by an old friend, Regis, who put a stop to their battle. After that, Detloff fled away in a puff of fog. Alright, so I think that's all the characters that we really need to read about. Guess I'll look through. Yeah, I think that's it. There hasn't been really any more important people so far. So, I think we can now, we can head off to our house. Um, I need to find a fast travel point. Let's go here to the to the grant the grand place. And then in the next episode we will go meet Regis at the cemetery. But I want to check out my house. I wanted to check out my house, but we couldn't at the end of the last episode because Woo! We were in the middle of trying to save um, that knight's life that we actually failed at. Uh, can I? What the hell? I'm stuck. It won't let me. Oh, okay, there we go. It wouldn't let me out of the box. It was like it was forcing me to run forward. Um, how the hell do I get to this? 
Fast travel point. Uh. Let me let me try it this way. I think this will get. Yeah, this got me there. Okay. I want to go check out my house. Uh. All right. Oh, I even got a bar. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm at the wrong spot. Here we go. Corvo Blanco, my home. This is pretty cool. I'm pr I'm really happy. I'm really happy that this um, this exists. If you can do a lot with this house, this could actually mean this game gets like a huge bump in life for me to play it and like replay it, come back to it in future times, as well as move it up on the favorite games list. Okay, so this is our home. We've got some geese here. Let's see, we've got a little hut. Oh, wait. A, a house within my own home is locked. What kind of crap is that? Alright, so we got roach here. It'd be cool if we could buy horses and have them stabled here or something. Man, I should develop a video game because I feel like I could have a badass video game. Um, I think this is the... I'm stuck in a tree. There we go. I think this is the main house. Or wait. This is... Yeah, this is the main house. Oh, here we go. We've, we've actually Welcome got something home, going. sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary, demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its... Okay, I am going to skip this. Been a major we're gonna, all your life? We're going to come back to this, and I will start the next episode with this. So um, we'll go back all the way to the beginning uh, so I can make the episode, um, like, my, my estate, getting my estate. That'll be the episode. Uh, so we will... I'll go back in time. I'll, I'll load a previous part of the save, and I'll get to this point 
and then we will have uh, the estate for the next episode. Uh, so the the opening part of that episode, you guys can go ahead and skip if you watch to the end of this one, because it'll have a little bit of a repeat and overlap. Uh, but I think that's a good place to start, like, have an episode about the estate and take a look around it and do all that different stuff. Uh, so I will catch you guys then. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we will be back uh, with that episode tomorrow. Peace out.